Hi, and welcome to Three Things in Three Minutes. I'm Nursi. Today we are looking at Cartographers. From Thunderworks Games, it plays one or more players with a solo mode and plays in about 30 minutes. Now what it's about, Cartographers is a flip and draw game set in the world of the role player games, they're really just in theme. The game is played over four rounds called Seasons. Now each round you flip an explore card and then everyone chooses one of the shapes shown on the card and draws it on their map, filling it with one of the shown terrain types. Uh, otherwise, if the card shows a monster ambush, you actually hand it the map to your opponent who then tries to draw the monster shape in a troublesome spot. Now at the end of each season, uh, which happens after a certain number of card values have been played, you score your map based on two or of four random criteria set up at the beginning of the game. Now, now at the end of the last season, which is winter, the highest scoring map wins. What I like, now this game plays fast because everyone draws simultaneously based on the common cards. Uh, it can accommodate any number of players and it moves quickly. And this is especially true because you typically only have one choice to make on each card. Now you'll either get one shape and two terrain choices or two shapes and one terrain choice, which helps move the game move along quickly. Now even with that, you have some uh, planning to do. Now the scoring, is, which is actually reminiscent of Isle of Sky, is randomize each game, but each season scoring is clear from the beginning of the game. So uh, you, while you do have to adapt uh, because each game is variable, you can do a lot of planning for scoring on future seasons. And also the game is about cartography, so it's thematically fun to be able to draw in little trees and rivers on your map. Now win or lose, it's fun to be able to look at everyone's unique map at the end of the game. Points to consider. Now, some of the scoring parameters are a bit harder to see and figure out than others, especially some of the ones that rely on adjacency and terrain types. And so, especially later in the game when your map is busy, scoring can slightly slow down an otherwise fast game. Now, to help with that, it means you have to be a little bit careful about how you draw your map to ensure that each terrain type is clearly visible. Now, that shouldn't be too hard because each terrain symbol is rather distinct, but how much you enjoy that depends on how much you like to draw. Uh, and you may actually even want to invest in some colored pencils. And as is typical of large scale roll and write type games, there's not much player interaction. Now the monster ambushes are a fun exception, uh, but expect going into this that everyone will largely end up doing their own thing. So in summary, it is a fast, simple flip and draw game with for any number of players where you actually get to carefully draw a map. Uh, the variable scoring can sometimes slow you down, but it does keep you thinking ahead for a long term strategy and the simultaneous gameplay it keeps it fast. But except for the monster ambushes, there's very little player interaction. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.